Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina of Live, Plan, Love, and today I am doing a haul for you guys. So I am really excited. I did purchase a bunch of things. I still have a lot I'm expecting from the PBC sale. So everything here are my purchases made prior to PBC and also the first bunch of of PBC orders that I got. So let's just get started because I am excited to share with you guys everything that I ordered. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you are these charms. And I got these from Exo Carolyn Designs on Etsy. And that is also the Instagram handle. So you can definitely check her out. So I picked up two. Let me just try to separate these so you guys can get a good look of each. I actually already have these on my planner, but I wanted to take it off so I can show you guys. So this one right here is the Boho Beautiful, and I love this because it has a feather and it's on a pink string. And then here are the little jewels. You have like a heart and then two different gems. And I think this is so cute. I recently just started getting into charms mainly because um, I ordered a Foxy Fix. And so everyone set up that I watched for a traveler's notebook or a ring bound planner literally had charms. So I definitely wanted to get my own. I do follow Carolyn on Instagram. And then when I found out she had her own charm shop, I had to pick them up whenever she released. And then this one right here is the Rose Gold Limited in Mint. And I really love this triangle. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just so simple, but it's like so cute. And then we have a little butterfly crystal and a little mint gem. And this one is on a white string. I thought it was perfect because my traveler's notebook is um white with pink stitching and elastic so i picked these up to make my traveler's notebook a little more cute so next i have these pens from pen gems so this is from the spring fling collection but unfortunately i couldn't get the entire bundle because they were sold out i like i've said in previous videos like i am terrible when it comes to new releases and like staying on top of them, I need to start putting an alarm on my phone or something to remind me because I feel like that's the only way I'll like be on top of it. So by the time I got to the website, the entire bundle was sold out. So I did pick up some of the pens a la carte and I like how they included them in silver hardware and gold hardware. The previous pen gems order I had, I got the City Pop limited edition set and those came in the silver hardware so I wanted to pick up a gold one to see how I like it. Um, I prefer the silver over the gold but I'm glad that I did pick this up just to see and compare between the different colored hardware. So I did pick up the baby the baby cakes pen in the gold and then the silver hardware and I got the pistachio in the silver hardware. So I was actually going to get this one in gold as well but it was sold out and I also wanted to get the my newest addiction collaboration pen but that was sold out as well by the time I got to the website so if you guys are unfamiliar with pen gems which I'm sure you guys all heard of it but they do come as a ballpoint but you can purchase gel ink refills and um, one of my lovely viewers on my last video oh no it had to be a couple of videos ago left a link for the Pilot High Tech C. She recommended that those refills work well with this pen. So I'll definitely have the link below just in case you guys are interested because I'm going to be placing an order for those soon. So that's everything I got from Pen Gems. Okay, so the next shop I have is very exciting. As you may all know, everyone loves Simply Gilded Washi. So these are actually purchased during the March pre-sale and they finally came in and I am loving, loving, loving them. So this is the journaling card that came with the order. It says wildly fabulous. And I thought that was really cute. And then I got all this washi. So I'm going to start from the bottom. So this is the 
purple butterfly. Let's zoom you in a little bit. So this is the purple butterfly in rose gold foiling. I didn't take them out of the packaging, which I think I should have so you don't see this glare, but I hope you guys can see it. So this is the purple butterfly in rose gold foiling. That was really cute. That was my only non bow and then everything else is in bows. This is the lilac in silver foiling. Really pretty. This is the aqua in silver hollow foiling. This one's really pretty and I definitely wanted to have this for the summer. We have the pink with the champagne champagne gold bows. I love it. I really love like softer gold as opposed to the standard gold. Here we have, I bought two of the white washies, but this one is in pink foil. And then this white washi has champagne gold bows. So that's all that I got from Simply Gilded and I'm really excited about that. Next we have some vellum from Simply Watercolor Co. So I picked these three up and I'm surprised that I picked this up in the gold foiling, but I think I just decided to, either the rose gold wasn't available or I just got this one because I thought that the gold didn't look too like heavy and strong, if you know what I mean. So this is the Planner Girl one and I really love the desk. So there's the Planner Girl. This one is the clipboard one, and this one says today has been canceled, which I think is really funny. And then this one is the bow, the foiled bow. I'm, I guess I was kind of like thrown off when I was ordering this. I thought this was definitely more pink, but it's definitely more purple. So I think I'm gonna hold off on using this in my traveler's notebook because it's, it doesn't really work well with the colors that I have in it. So that's all from Simply Watercolor Co. The next shop we have is a shop that I purchased for the first time during the PBC sale, and that is Virgo and Paper. So I picked up two decals. This came with the order and a bunch of things I'll go through. So one of the decals is already in my TN does say, it's always time to plan in the colorway Daisy. Actually, let me pull it out. My TN is actually under construction, so I'm pretty sure I pulled out the dashboard. So this is the other decal that I picked up from Virgo and Paper. It says, it's always time to plan, and this is in the Daisy colorway. And just look at that. It's just so cool. There you go. That's a better shot. And then this one says, a planner for life, and this one is in the orchid colorway. It's like blinding. I wish like I could show you guys better, but it's beautiful. I really love this. I wish I picked up more. And this came with the order that says, put your wildest dreams on paper and bring them to life. I love this. Oh, and it says like, thank you for your order and stuff like that. That's really cute. It's like, I don't want to use it just so I have like this, but I definitely have to figure out what to do with this. Maybe... I'm expecting my salt personal wide ring soon, so I may put that in there. So this is the freebie, I believe, or did I pick this up? No, I'm pretty sure this is the PBC freebie. These are half boxes with the bows, and I really love how like the borders are like glitter, and how each bow is different on the boxes. Then we have the different bows up here. So that's really cute. I did pick up a sheet of affirmations. So um, if you guys haven't realized in the thankful thought section in my Erin Condren, I like to keep it decorative and write a quote in it, but sometimes like 90% of the time I don't know what to write. So I just think of something like random or I leave it blank. So to avoid that, I picked up this sheet because I thought it would be really nice to add this into the thankful thought section and I don't know. It will be nice to like look back into my Erin Condren when I flip through it and then have these affirmations there. And here we have 
a stack of books. So this sheet is actually in matte and then this one is in glossy. I did, when it comes to new shops or just any shops in general when I order, I try to experiment with their different papers to see which one I like best. So I like the matte, it's not bad at all, but I also do like the glossy. So this is really cute and I love the colorway of these books because it's just so neutral and will go with any spread. I'm not very particular when it comes to matching my icons to my kits, but it's just a really nice touch when I can do so. This is a sheet of running shoes. I have been lacking on working out so I definitely told myself for the summer at least go on more walks so I definitely wanted to mark that with these and I just love the colorway of this sheet they're so cute I did pick up a kit and I'm glad that she had a 4th of July kit because I didn't pick one up yet I didn't really see anything that I loved only because it's like everything either looked too bold or I didn't like the clip art, but I was really glad to pick this one up. This one's actually called Together. I really love how the red in this kit isn't too strong. If you know what I mean, like it's bright, but not like deep. I don't know if that makes sense, but so on this page, we have the deco and these page legs are huge, but I'm going to make use of them because they're so adorable. And then we have some text too. I like that. That says, currently, happy 4th of July, goals today, and to do. Here we have the full boxes. Oh, these are checklists. This is cute. I love how it stars. Here we have the headers and quarter boxes and then some washi strips. I really love this kit and I love the font here. It is so fun. I can't believe I haven't heard of this shop prior to PBC sale. Here we have some circle icons, appointment labels, half boxes, quarter labels, some trackers, scallop labels, and more appointment labels. Here are the bottom washi. We have a few more half boxes, some checklists. That one is really fun. I like this little clipboard art here. And then the date covers. I really love the font of this kit. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to use it. And then here we have a full sheet of full box checklists. And then I think down here, yeah, these are three heart checklists. So that is all that I picked up from Virgo and Paper, and I am definitely going to be placing another order soon. I really love this kit and her icons. Like, these sheets are huge. So definitely check that shop out. I will have the all links below, actually. So definitely look in the description bar below. Also, prior to PBC, I placed an order with GP Sticker Studio. I didn't know that she was going to be part of the PBC sale, so I would have waited to order this during the sale, but I ended up ordering again during the sale anyway, so I can get the exclusive kit, which hasn't come yet, so I'm just going to haul this one. So this is the freebie that came with the order. I already have a sheet of this, but I'm not complaining because this is gorgeous. I really love everything on this sheet and it's just so neutral I feel like I'll go with like a lot of kits that I have I did pick up two oh three die cuts so this I picked up two bows just in case um so I think I'm gonna when I start like ordering die cuts because this is new for me to like order die cuts instead of getting free die cuts um I'm gonna try to get multiples of the ones that I really like, that way I can have them in multiple planners. So that's why I picked up two of these bows because I knew I was gonna use multiple bows. Here we have a little TN and this is so adorable. I can't believe I only ordered one of these. And then I picked up a sheet of the TN stickers. I really love the colors. So cute. So I did pick up sheets from the Flourish kits. I didn't pick up the entire kit only because like I always have so many leftover stickers when it comes to GP Sticker Studio kits. So and also for this time I picked it up in matte. I wish I got it in glossy but the matte is not disappointing either. But I know that if, like, if I got it in glossy I would be even more in love with it. So when she 
um, release this or she like sneaked it on her Instagram, I knew I had to have it. Like, I really love and enjoy what she does with her kits. Like she'll have, um, like this is essentially like a photo kit and then she includes like graphics or like different things. So it's, I believe it's um, mixed media art. I, th I think that's what she calls it, but I love it. This sheet has the full boxes and like I can't stop looking at it. We have the functional sheet with the checklist. Habit trackers, weekly tracker, bill dues, circle icons, page flags, and some cute deco. We have some appointment labels over here. Here we have the weekend banner. Oh, I love this. And I love how in each of her kits, the weekend banner is always different. And I just really enjoy that. Here we have some functional deco, which I love. Here we have the headers, appointment labels, and some washi strips. Here at the bottom washi, oh my goodness, look closer at that bottom washi, it is beautiful. And then we have the washi strips on top. And then on this sheet we have the date covers, the date dots, and some deco, which I love. So honestly, like, you know, like I said before, I do try to order from like different shops, but there are just some shops that Whenever they release something, I have to get it. And GP Sticker Studio is definitely one of those shops. This kit, I just definitely have to have. And I'm definitely going to be placing an order with her again in the future. So the last shop that I have is Jax and Pepper. And I really enjoy Jax and Pepper kits. I had only one kit with her before. And I was like, okay, I, that's it. I need to order more. So I did pick up three during the PBC sale. So this is the, this is like the business card and on the back you, it's like a little rewards thing. I already have one. So pretty much you collect seven coins to get $20 store credit. And then you just email it to their email when it's complete and then you'll get your $20 store credit. So I will definitely have that. And then this is the freebie that came with the order and it just has a bunch of text and I love it. And then down here is the reward coin. So the first kit I'm gonna show you is the Sweet Life kit. And I'm really happy that I ordered from her because I, I didn't really purchase any summer kits prior to the sale. So now I have a bunch. So this is the Sweet Life full boxes. We have some quarter labels down here. This sheet is um, the washi strips and then the bottom washi. Here we have the headers and quarter boxes. And I think down here are more like blank labels. And then on this sheet, we have the scallop heart checklist, the date covers. We have a lazy day, day off, the weekend banner, some text here some deco, page flags, circles, and blank labels. Oh yeah, and I guess that's it. So I didn't pick up the deluxe kit only because I, I'm really trying to get the most out of my kit. So I figured getting the full kit was enough for me. And I think I, think I can work with this. And of course my goal is to use all these stickers because I hate wasting stickers. It really breaks my heart. Um, but she does offer a deluxe kit with an additional two sheets. So definitely check that out. The next kit I have is called Something Good. And I really, really love this. I really love the vibe of this kit. It's just so beautiful. Like, I don't know. Like, I really love how she designed this kit. Um, so we have the full boxes and then the quarter labels again. Essentially, these are all in the same format. So let me just show you the bottom washi and then the washi strips. I really love this headers and quarter boxes. And then the date covers, the heart checklist, labels, weekend banner, and more goodies. I really love how these checklists are gray with um, pink hearts. I think that little detail is just so adorable. 
And then the last kit that I picked up is the Summer Adventure Kit. And I thought this was really, really pretty. I love like the strawberries here and like the accent colors. It's just really nice. This full box here says, and so the adventure begins. And I think it's so adorable. Like, I don't know how I'm going to use these kits because I, they're just so cute. Here are the bottom washies and the washi strips. And I'm really loving this bottom washi. Here we have the headers and the quarter boxes. And then the functional sheets. Again, I love this. I love, seriously, like these checklists are white but with red hearts. Well, they're not really red. I don't even know how, like what color to describe them, but it's really adorable. So that is all that I have from Jackson Pepper and that also concludes our haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and also subscribe to my channel for more planner videos. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.